So me and Dave are on Dartmoor. We're looking at doing, it's about a 10 or 12K hike walk. Starting with North Hess Tour, Rundle Stone, Hollow Tour, King's Tour, where we'll then see the Corbels, Crypt Tour, and then depending when we get to Crypt Tour, how we're feeling, we may well do Ingra, Leiden and Black Tour, but we'll see when we get there. Dave's all ready to go. Dave's driven. Lovely day. It's a lovely day in Dartmoor. <laughs> so we're about to head off now. It's a little bit chilly. So we are just going through Prince Town before we cut up to North Hest Tour. So we're just following up the main road for a minute until we get on more, which we will in about probably about 10 minutes. It's not that far. Steepest part of the walk. Yeah, steepest part probably. So, starting off on a nice concrete footing, which isn't going to last very long, but we're we're good to go. It's building works going on at Dartmoor Prison to the main gates. Can't really see can't can't really see the prison in behind there because of all the scaffolding. So we'll talk a bit about the prison later. Um, yeah, it's dark prison. You ain't getting over them walls. <laughs> and that's the prison museum just opposite, which I don't think is open yet. And that pile on radial mass is where we're going. That's the first tour up there. So there's Dartmoor Prison Museum in these buildings. I don't know what that building is. It's obviously part of the prison, but yeah. Car park's just up here on the left of the prison museum. Uh, needs a bit of work done on the render. Yeah. yeah, like French French prisoners of war. The revolution built it to house themselves. But anyway, let's crack on. Well, that's us just leaving Prince Town. You can see the mass through the trees. We're going up here. I would say about another, I don't know, five ten minutes, probably, till we're level. But it looks level, but we're not. And then there's a style on the left hand side for Squilver rather than climbing up walls and stuff. But you can feel it even going up this little hill. Yeah, I, I played football on Sunday and I'm 40 now. <laughs> and played 90 minutes for the first time in probably 18 months, so the legs are feeling it before I even got here. See how high that jumped? The sheep just jumped up on the wall. The lunatic. What's it going to do now? Our guide for the uh... Put a lead on it. Yeah. <laughs> Walk it. Like that looks like a really mean sheep. <laughs> doesn't it? It looks like it's got an attitude problem. <laughs> Let's have a look where he does when we he go near him. Yeah. He is. Where's he going? Going. He's going to go. He's going to go. <laughs> oh, it's a little... Where's he off to? Where are you off to? He does look pissed. <laughs> Too much. No one there, is it? Yeah, just behind there. Oh yeah. Go on, you can go fast. Thanks. I'll film you falling over. <laughs> so, off we go up this little steep, steep climb. Up you go over. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel very safe. Really. No. Up this um. Little steep climb, and we'll be up North Hess.
just bogged. We're now at Hollow Tour. Hollow Tour. Legs good, Dave? Legs good? Legs good, just a cold, just a cold face. There's quite a big outcrop to be fair, isn't there? There's quite a lot here. It's, no, this, this bit, we've got a little bit there. We're going to go that way anyway. So, I'm going to double check the map. And then this is Rundlestone, sorry, I beg your pardon. I said it was Hollow Tour, it's not Hollow Tour, it's Rundlestone. The next one after this is Hollow Tour, I believe. I'm just going to double check that now. It is Hollow after this one. Yeah, so it's Rundle, sorry, Rundle Stone. So this one's actually just called Rundle Stone. Second tour was Rundlestone. Rundlestone, Rundlestone tour. This is Hollow tour. The next one is going to be King's tour, which I'm going to put on all these tours. When we hit them, the bit of footage you should see an SX number underneath, which is the the map coordinations for the particular tour that we're on. Um, <laughs> S, yeah, S Sierra X-ray, which is the grid coordinations on the OS map for which tour we're on. So yeah. Making good time. We've been about at the moment about an hour and ten minutes, so we're doing really well time wise. King's Tour next, which is a bit bigger than this, I believe. It's spread out so than this. Um, it's, it is a bit further than the last one we've just done. That last one that we just done that is from there, which isn't that far at all, really, from there to there. And now Dave's just checking out the map. I always thought we'd gone to the right. Yeah, then we've got two rivers to cross. Yeah, they're only little streams, though. You hope. They're only little streams. Yeah, but we did have rain yesterday. Yeah, we'll, we'll do fog and tall route first, because then it'll be straight across, won't it? At least then we can get some we're, we'll frog and tall We're at the moment, we are... There. We're here. So, we're going to... Where's, where's fog and tall? There. We'll come across the fog and tall, and then to King's Tour, and then around the back, the corbels are here. Crypto. Into Crypto. There. Yeah. And then, what's that? That's Kings there, isn't it? No, yeah. that's Kings. Oh, all right, Kings. That's yeah. That's Crypto. That's Ingram. Yeah. So we're on course, and then depending on how we are there on time, we'll look and we'll make a decision. There's the route. It's a big circle. Yeah, it's a big circle. I'm going to put a picture up of the route anyway.
So we go along this path, pop our um, pop our noses into Fog and Tool Quarry, which is where they took the granite for Tower Bridge or London Bridge? London Bridge. Which we're gonna show you in a sec. And then we're gonna not stay there too long and we're gonna head right over to King's. Get that one. The corbels are on the other side of that. They're on the other side of that King's tour. There is um, corbels which are leftovers or spares for London Bridge. And London Bridge, actually, the original London Bridge that got transported to America. What was the name of the Arizona, is it Arizona little city they made? And they took London Bridge, they sold London Bridge to an American. Who, yeah, he thought he was getting Tower Bridge. He got London Bridge and they transported it all over. They did apparently bring, come up here and collect a couple of the corbels that they broke when they were moving it, I've read before. But we'll talk about that when we get around there. That's a bit of a way off. So we'll see how we go. This is where I do want to go for a swim. Probably more. See, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Look how nice that looks. Let's get out of this wind. nice in it just looks so nice with the water that's gonna be cold though that will be chilly but yeah look at how much granite's been cut out of this because this would have been one solid thing and this well yeah this would have just been over like the whole tour would have just been like as it was we were walking on at it look at that just or machine. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Originally it was, yeah. I mean, lots of explosives would have been used, though. A lot. Oh, yeah. It's not like that modern excavators and bulldozers and diggers and things like that. I mean, so, so cool, though. Imagine the noise. And we, we, we already know that the granite from this particular quarry was used for London Bridge and it was transported along the line we're going to walk now round to King's Tor same all the corbels were cut from there as well as well to quarry which we're going to see as well still standing today that's definitely well a lot a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the Dartmoor granite is used in London loads of buildings in London have got Dartmoor granite on um well presumably so but yeah here we are fog into a quarry this is where I do want to have a swim, not today, not when it's freezing cold. Well, the water's never going to be warm, let's face it. But it'd be nice to come in the summer and just a quick five minute in and out. Put a feature on that because he wants to do Crazy Well Pool as well. Crazy Well Pool is another one, yeah. So a small place where the commandos practice swimming with full gear on. There has been a few deaths in there though, to be fair, as well. So it is not, it's not all fun and games, you have to be careful.